So how significant is this? Hey, good morning. Um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely closure. And you have to remember, this has been, you know, an 18-month, two-year sort of um, time now that this investigation, this kind of broader crackdown on the sector started with, you know, when, when authorities suddenly pulled Ant Group's IPO in late 2020. Um, and, and this was kind of, you know, the DD the, the sort of saga had, had been a hallmark of this kind of tech crackdown. Um, things have really changed with this company, right? Uh, you know, now it only trades OTC in, in the U.S., um, and, and, and the shares have, you know, the shares for this company and shares for you know, all the other big tech had, had fallen. Um, but I think investors are, 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 are quick to say that even though this has happened, we, we aren't so sure because, you know, we remember, we, you know, history has not been forgotten so quickly. And I think investors say this is great for the closure for this company, but ultimately there, there are concerns for the broader market. Is it too early to say that this signals the broader end to the tech crackdown? Right, right. Um, so, you know, this is something we've been asking investors and analysts for the last couple of days. Um, everyone says, mm, not so sure, right? There's still sort of a lot of things that are unresolved. Um, you know, what about the, the gaming side? Is that going to be, you know, settled? Um, you know, some of the crackdowns in the other sectors. Um, every time that someone has tried to call a bottom, um, we ha they have been proven uh, surprised or wrong. So uh, in, in this atmosphere with so much volatility, I, I think that I think investors will need a little bit more time to see the dust settle before they can really get back in.